It's time now for our weekend cover story and tomorrow marks the first anniversary of King Charles III's coronation. It was certainly a day steeped in tradition and one His Majesty waited for his entire life. But what has followed since, no one could have planned for. The King's crowning moment. God save the King! A day 74 years in the making, with a right royal celebration to follow. In his first speech as monarch, less than 24 hours after his mother's death, Charles made this pledge. I shall endeavour to serve you with loyalty, respect and love. Also promising a slimmed down monarchy with so many people struggling with the cost of living. But as the King and Queen hit the ground running with royal commitments, there was no sign of a relationship reset with Harry and Meghan. A bombshell book, Endgame, reigniting claims of racism behind palace walls. Two senior royals named and accused of discussing Prince Archie's skin colour. The royals who are named in this book are King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. But the biggest moments of the King's first year since his coronation were still to come. In February, the palace announcing Charles has cancer. Weeks later, Catherine apologised for sharing an edited photo, sending social media into a further frenzy over her whereabouts. And then this message from the princess revealing she too has cancer. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. A whirlwind first year on the throne for the king with the weight of the monarchy on his shoulders. It's a roller coaster. For more, we're joined this morning by author of new biography, Charles III, The Inside Story, Robert Hardman. Robert, good morning to you. Thanks so much for your time on weekend today. I mentioned uh, the words roller coaster. It's certainly been that, hasn't it? How would you summarise the king's first year since that coronation? Uh, well, Clint, I mean, as you say, you know, roller coaster. I mean, it's certainly been uh, unbelievably dramatic at times. It's been very uh, turbulent at times, uh, both obviously uh, on the domestic front, uh, as you uh, mentioned earlier, with uh, with some of the uh, the, 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 the relations, uh, particularly with California, uh, not being all that they would, um, and, and at the same time. You know, yes, there's this uncertainty. It's uh, particularly the start of the year. We were wondering, uh, you know, when are we going to see the king again? When will we see the princess again after those medical diagnoses? But actually, things are sort of there's a sense of things turning around now uh, here in, in, in Britain because um, just last week, uh, the king um, returned to um, sort of public duties. He was uh, went to a cancer hospital, in fact, in London with, with Queen Camilla. Uh, and I was there for that. And it was actually for a visit to a, a, a cancer hospital. It was a very upbeat moment because this was sort of the king um, back doing what he likes most, meet, meeting crowds, mm -hmm. being among people, something he couldn't do for, for several weeks or indeed months on, on doctor's orders. But he is now getting back out and about more. Um, the princess, for the moment, is still... Uh, uh, you know, uh, she's undergoing her treatment. She's asked for time and privacy and space, and, and that's what's happening at the moment. But again, the sort of the, the, the noises from uh, inside the palace are, are, are positive. They're, they're certainly not downbeat. So I think over the next weeks and months, you are going to see uh, the monarchy on, on, a, on a more upward trajectory. But as you say, if you look back to May last year on this anniversary, um, it has been an extraordinary um, era, if you like, yeah. uh, in, in, in royal history. Well, when you look back at that, one of the things that Charles set out to do was slim down the monarchy and have fewer people sort of representing the throne. Then you've had all these illnesses. Do you think that's going to change his plans? No, I don't think so, because you can't really do anything about it. I mean, the, the thing about the monarchy is, is that it... It evolves all the time, but you can't suddenly drum up uh, reinforcements. Um, you know, it, at a time like this, obviously, uh, were uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to be around, you know, it would it would be immensely helpful. But that's not going to happen because you know they've decided to make a new life for themselves in America. So um, the, the the situation is 
as it is. But, you know, the monarchy's sort of been through these crises before. I don't see this as a crisis. I think this is, there, there's some big challenges right now. Uh, and, and as you say, uh, the, the, the slimmed down monarchy suddenly got a bit slimmer. Uh, but uh, if you look back to the 90s, uh, to the period around uh, all the, 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 the domestic problems then, the, the Windsor Castle fire, huge debates in, uh, about finances and tax, and uh, then uh, the famous uh, Diana Panorama interview, and of course, then the tragedy of, of Diana's death. I mean, that, that five year period, and from 1992 to 1997, I think that was definitely the low point for the monarchy in certainly in my lifetime and really in, since the abdication. Um, sure. That was that was big. Um, this is uh, of a different order. I mean, at the t at the moment, you know, the the, the popular uh, view and the, the the general sense in in Britain is is one of enormous support for the monarchy and for the king, great sympathy, but everyone wanting to see him back out and about. So the affection is there. Um, it's not uh, it's not the sort of bleak uh, outlook that it was in the 90s. Um, but of course, it's a very personal uh, issue at the moment. And that's why everybody wants to see both the King and the Princess of Wales back in action. Absolutely, Robert. Thank you so much. And congratulations on the book as well. We appreciate your time on weekend today. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?